The promises flow when you each cap that you know. From deed he bestowed through the bend of Zora. A rebellion they were planning to defy deity and their blessings. The two brothers conspired, they felt inspired. I was once asked about the differences between the Estolian faith and other religions. To me, the similarities seemed more striking than the differences. Most religions provide strictures as to how the righteous should live and the rewards they will receive after death. The major difference is that, to an Estolian, the rewards of faith are not some ephemeral prize to be collected and enjoyed only after death. Instead, each Estolian expects to feel the rewards of living the faith throughout their lives and on into eternity in Torazon. We are encouraged to focus on the promised blessings of this life and to live it in accordance with the faith, so that joy will walk with us every step of our typically long and eventful lives. Nico Zakarian, Mastery Summation Jasmine listened to the steady beat of Dominic's heart as he slept. What would be the result of the physical relationship she had jumped into? She had been attracted to Dominic and curious about his body from the time she entered his home. She felt a sense of destiny when he explained some of the things that influenced his life choices prior to meeting him. She did not fully understand everything he told her, but the most important facts were that he was only thirty years old, and that, if she agreed, he was planning to marry her. Everything else seemed immaterial. Her thoughts drifted back to her life before she met him. Jasmine was the only child of two older academics, Clarence and Beatrice Merritt. They married at the age of 18 and hoped to start a family right away. They began college together shortly after they were married, with plans for Beatrice to take time off from her education once they were expecting their first child. By the time they celebrated their 25th anniversary, they had resigned themselves to being childless. With an affluent background, they had continued their education until both had earned their PhDs. Then they taught at Stanford together. Her father taught sociology, while her mother taught English. They were shocked when, on their 28th anniversary, they discovered that they were finally expecting a child. Her parents were both 47 years old when she was born. She was raised in a very stifling environment. Her schoolmates had family lives much different from her own. They had siblings and younger parents. But, by the time Jasmine was preparing to graduate from high school, both of her parents were ready to retire. Jasmine also spent most of her time with her parents and their friends, who were all older professors. She had been described as both mature and immature by her teachers at the private school she attended. She was able to interact with adults and older individuals with greater ease than with her peers. She also was perceived as a snob by her peers, with her advanced vocabulary. But she refused to change the way she spoke just to fit in. She did not feel that it made sense to use many small words, when one big word conveyed exactly what she meant to say. When she told her parents she wanted to take a year off from her education before going on to college, they got her a job working as a proofreader for a publishing company. Barely one month later, her father was diagnosed with cancer. He lived long enough to schedule his first chemotherapy appointment before passing away. Seven days after the funeral for her father, her mother had a heart attack and was gone. Suddenly Jasmine was alone. Her parents used their savings to pay for her private school. She was on her own. The rent hike in her apartment complex was a mixed blessing. While she enjoyed working at the publishing company, she grew uncomfortable with the attention from one of the junior editors even before the rent increase. When she told her boss that she had to get a job that either paid more, or a live-in job, Monica, her immediate supervisor, had been upset to lose her, but Jasmine saw it as a way out. Going to Northern California to work for an author had seemed the perfect solution to her troubles. When she thought Dominic was more than twice her age, she felt as if she was safe with him. There was no risk to her heart, her equilibrium, or the well-ordered, emotion-free existence she enjoyed. Risk. She inwardly scoffed at that word as she felt heat flooding her face. Remembering the feel of his possession, the touch of his mouth on her, an intimacy she never imagined and was completely overcome to have experienced under his sensuous touch. 
Did he really mean to marry her? To keep her by his side forever? Would he think twice about her as a potential mate and leave her once he spent enough time to be turned off by her overly academic nature? She did not know what qualities she had that might keep him with her. She pulled back slightly and looked at his face as he slept. He looked curiously innocent. She should have recognized his comparative youth. At thirty, he was not much older than she was. She thought about the huge underground dwelling. He was a wealthy man. From what she had researched, she did not think his wealth came from the books he wrote. She reached out and touched his face, needing to be reassured. His eyes opened and he looked at her. He smiled and said, You are going to keep your word and be my lady, yes? If that is truly what you want. She answered. His smile was brilliant and he rolled her onto her back and looked down at her. For just a moment, I thought I imagined it all. He kissed her briefly and pulled back to look at her. His smile melted away and he leaned forward to kiss her again. Soon they were both passionately entangled, finding great satisfaction with one another, a sensation took hold and dictated their actions. A queen's words misunderstood And the future course derailed Search for meaning for the good Hating what the words entail a rebellion they were planning To defy deity and their blessings The two brothers conspired They felt inspired